Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP gaming laptop. And this exact one is an HP Omen 17-AN101 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can speed up the performance on this one dramatically and what are the best options that you can have. The bottleneck for this processor, this laptop is the mechanical hard drive that they are being shipped in with one terabyte. I recommend you guys to replace it with a solid stage drive or add an M.2 storage and put your windows on a new M.2 storage and keep the second storage as a solid state or mechanical drive for your backup files. And I'm going to go over the combination that you can have and how you can install it and which one suits for you. Just remember once you install the new M.2 storage in here, which I recommend it for your system, you have to install your windows freshly installed on the laptop. I made a video, short video, how to create your windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. I also made a, a video how to install the Windows properly on an HP laptop. Those links can be found on the video description. And it's really easy, it takes five to 10 minutes to install your Windows and do a Windows update and all the drivers and everything will be installed on it. Just make sure you back up your files. All right, once, once you back up your file and everything is backed up, all you wanna do, you wanna flip it upside down and you want to grab yourself the opening tools and a screwdriver. For the screwdriver, I'll use the iFixit like, screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. On bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws all around it. But these two screws at the back in here, these two screws that have a little C lock on the other end of the screw that will not let them come out entirely. So all you need to do is just twist them, like I do a few twists and leave it right there. Few twists, leave it right there. You don't have to try to pull them up. All right, but now the rest of the screws all around, they are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the grill right at the back here. And you just want to twist it, and you want to hear that cover coming out. Same thing over here. Try to put it underneath and just twist it upward. Now, once you did the back, you can do the side, but it's already popping open. So if it's yours is not coming out, then what you want to stick it right in there. Again, twist, twist to the side, the front, just wiggle around and all around, and eventually it will come out. So lift it up, wiggle around, and you can remove the bottom cover. Once you remove the bottom cover right away, you can see this mm, hard drive, mechanical drive right over here. And we can see that we have an M.2 storage right over here. They give you thermal pads, but they don't give you the screw for it. So that's kind of weird. All right, not to do any upgrade in here. You don't need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid and they want to disconnect the battery, just pull this jack backward. And that's how you can disconnect it. To put it back in, make sure you put it straight in and pinch it right through the jack. Now, to remove this uh, 2.5 inch hard drive in here, what you want to do, you want to lift up this jack upward 90 degree, like that. And then you want to remove this flex cable in a 45 degree angle backward. You don't want to lift it up from here because it has a little jack in there. So what you want to do, you want to lift it up from the sides in here. Bring it up like that. Don't yank on the cable. On the side, just pull it up and pull it out so that this hinge thing goes right underneath. Now, this is a one terabyte Western Digital or HGST with Western Digital purchased. Bought them out. So we uh, you can remove this one by an enclosure, use it as an external storage. And now, I'm going to put a one terabyte storage in here and we, uh, hard drive in there. This is an Intel 800 gig. These are good hard drives. 
to remove it, we need the carry on the side. We have to make sure first we have on the same orientation of the SATA connectors right in here. You want to pull out this rubber carry and put it on the new storage. Same thing, pull it out and put it right on top here. Who is it right there? Now, you want to grab the carry, the, the adapter only goes in one way, right there. You want to put the back end right under this corner in a 45 degree and bring it down and squeeze it right in there. And there we go. Now, to make sure the lock for the jack is open and you want to bring it down in a 45 degree angle all the way inside the jack, squeeze it in there and lock it down. Once that one is done, now you can install your windows in here and you're ready to go. You can put up to two terabyte hard drives in here, to, uh, solid state drive or two terabyte mechanical storage in here. And, or you can go and grab yourself an NVMe storage, a one terabyte, two terabyte NVMe, and you can put it alongside in here. And this does support an NVMe storage. So I recommend you with a Samsung 980 Pro, which are really durable and reliable. You wanna grab your storage, you want to make sure the notch on the story on the jack right in here. There's a tiny notch right there. This notch matches the notch right in here. So this one has to go face down. Bring it down like that all the way inside the jack and squeeze it down and put the single screw right in here. I'll leave the link for M.2 screws. You can purchase yours and put it on top. I have one lying around here. You can just Screw it right on top. You can put two terabyte and two terabyte. But I would recommend you put a Windows in here and keep this one as a secondary storage. But if you don't, but you want to put this one in, you can do it as my client only wants the SATA connector here. So, but you do, you can put an M.2 in there. All right, now that we have this one done, once you did your upgrade, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, plug in the battery if you unplugged it. The bottom cover, put it right on top. You squeeze, make sure you do nice click sounds on the back right there. And the last thing would be to screw down the two screws at the back, make sure nicely screwed in. And the last thing would be to just screw the rest of the screws all around the casing. And remember, you need to do your own backup, your data stuff, and if fresh install the windows on the new SSD, you're gonna thank me later because it's gonna be much, much faster than cloning or trying to do some other shady stuff. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish off putting up the bottom screw.